Hello, my name is Colm Concannon from Flyby Photos and I'm going to do a short demonstration just to illustrate the use of aerial photography, drones and aerial mapping to land surveyors and architects and engineers. Here we have a standard Google Maps image of a quarry. Uh, the great thing about Google Maps is you know you can zoom in get a look of a surrounding area around the site, it's probably used by every architect and engineer and uh, auctioneer throughout the world. But the data is always, you never know when it is, it's usually out of date. And um, other than just for references, uh, you know, it's, it's no good. So what we do here is we do uh, an aerial uh, mission and we fly over this quarry here and each of these dots represents a photograph. These photographs were taken at 90 degrees looking down to the ground and uh, about 60 meters uh, in, the, in the air from ground level. So from that all the, these, these photographs are processed and uh, the software is used to generate what we call an auto mosaic image which gives you a real-time image, so you can actually turn it on and off. That's the auto mosaic. That's Google Alert, and it, it's superimposed on top of it, so it gives you a real-time image. Now, that's nice in itself, but the thing about this image is it's high quality, high resolution. I'm going to zoom in. You can zoom right in, see the actual stones and boulders within the quarry. Here we have a car uh, on the edge of the quarry on a road. And uh, just for instance, say this car was uh, involved in a in a traffic accident or something, and you wanted to do a survey of the site, and uh, you wanted to measure the distance from how far that car travelled from there to there. Uh, because this is a a point cloud image, um, we can use a measuring tool here, which allows us to take a measurement from any two points. So that distance there is 20 meters, 20.7 meters. The great thing about that is you do an aerial map of a crash site or any type of a site and you want to return to it to take additional measurements in the future, you can take them from any two points. So you can see how how good the data is. When you get in close, yeah, it's not exactly clear, but it's uh, clear enough to take some images and take some very accurate measurements. That's uh, the first use. The other idea is uh, because of all the images are also triangulated, it gives you uh, the ability to fly through the quarry or the site in 3D, which is quite amazing. These are the different sand piles here, or stockpiles of different types of stone. And up this into the trolley quarry, we see a, a blast, a recent blast. And if we wanted to um, measure any of the quantities in the stockpile, we can do this quite simply. So for instance, this one here. If I take the measurement tool, I can simply trace around Stockpile This one will calculate Give me a 3D mesh of that pile And give me a volume So there's 1383 cubic meters in that pile The red is below the line and is is what we call the fill that's subtracted from the calculation. So it's the green is what, what the system will calculate. Okay. Another useful tool in this particular project was this quarry is owned by two different people. And uh, one quarry owner is this side of the ridge. I'm on this side, 
and their objective was to know they wanted to take down this ridge and see how much stone was inside it. So that was the purpose of the of the the, the uh, project in this case. We were able to do that. So the customer wanted to calculate the amount of rock that's available in this boundary here. To do that, we can take elevations from any point in the site on either side of the wall. And from that, we can calculate what the volume is between the wall. And in this case, 85,000 cubic meters. In this case here <coughs> is a recent blast at the end of the quarry. And to calculate the volume on that again To take the elevations from the various points, we can do a reference volume on it this time, which means it's going to take all the contours because this isn't level ground, and it takes it from the lowest point, which is here, and that lowest point is at uh, 65.032. So obviously that's solid. If you look at the shape underneath, it's flat. And that's not the same as the crown. So what we want to do is we want to know how much volume is there at, at this point here, which is 70.04. So 70.04, sorry, 70.4. Recalculate it. Gives us a through volume for that side, which is 7,378 cubic meters. Green is what we call the cut, that's the, the volume we want. The red is represented by the fill, which is below the line. Another one was an estimated volume in the bottom road here, where takes this road out here, how much volume is here. So again, we do the elevations points along the road here. And from that, we were able to calculate, this is approximately 3000 cubes in that area, if he takes that out. And that's not level, as you can see, so that's a smart volume calculation versus taking it at an angle. That's not true. So, so what you do in that case then is you take a reference volume. And the reference volume would be from uh, about 60.9, 60.7 would be pretty good. So that's more realistic you can see the shape of the cut, it's going straight down, taking all of that fit. So 70, 17,500 cubic meters of rock in that area. Here's three more track piles. Um, we can take the elevations from this one. If we want to know additional things, some of the different points. So any point in the map we can take that, take the points. If we want to know the area of the stockpile, that gives us the square meters of the area. We want to know the surface area, do a 3D mesh of the actual pile, to exactly what the square meters of that is. And of course we can do the smart volume as well, 
And again, we can look at how that looking. Yeah. Be happy with that. You can see the actual shapes of the loader, the track tires as they screw up in it. So that's basically it. Quick view of what can be done with uh, aerial mapping on a drone. For more information, please visit our website on flybyphotos.net or follow us on Facebook on facebook.flybyphotos. Thank you and please check back again for some more um, videos. If you need any more information, feel free to contact us.